Hello Aquarius, welcome to your May 16th through 31st reading. This reading is a general reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please go to royalmystic.com. I'll be happy to help you once you book your appointment. So with that being said, we'll move forward. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them with the love and light for which they are intended. Oh, nice. Thank you so much for your presence here. You are always welcome and very much appreciated. Thank you, Divine. So, Ten of Cups is your, is your starter card. That's not a bad gig right there. And it looks like you're working hard for that. So, not a bad thing at all. Aquarius Queen. Aquarius King. What a wonderful, wonderful first set. Okay, now we have Relationship, Love Life, and Spiritual Life. Alrighty. And Work and Finance. <laughs> wow. Okay. Awesomeness. And we have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is an energy of maybe uh, letting go of what I got right away when I first felt the card was um, sad to be moving on, okay? So um, it's hard to let things go and let just let the water go under the bridge. Even though you've got a better future looking out for you, some, this may be for someone who's having a this has had a quarrel with either a friend or a family member and uh, is a little disasso uh, disassociated with them. Um, doesn't mean that it's a forever thing. It can also be that you're just having a moment of remembering something that, uh, some, some, some nostalgia. We can get nostalgic and uh, it just don't stay in that energy, okay? Allow yourself to move forward. Here we have the Ten of Cups, which is the Happily Ever After card. This is a beautiful card and a beautiful meaning. It is always positive. Now this can mean the sale of a house if someone's trying to do that. It can be, that's why it's right here in the front. Sale or purchase of a house. So good thing, whatever it is, it's harmony, happiness, everything you can imagine. Sometimes it's about remodeling a home as well. And if you're remodeling... <laughs> This would be why the, the Nine of Wands shows up because it's a lot of work that's been done. So uh, whether or not, whatever the circumstances is saying, you have worked very hard to get where you are and you're almost to the end, so don't give up. The light is just barely peeking through the end of the tunnel. You're almost there. You're almost there. Now, Queen and King, air signs both. Now, this means... Um, masculine feminine of your sign are present here now that does not mean that it is a man or woman or uh, either or and even if you have a mate that is a different sign this shows alignment of your energies so this is a very good uh, thing that it's showing up together they're both very much in alignment so this is a household thing that's saying that you've worked at it very hard and got it together okay beautiful energy this is also the Archangel Michael, and uh, he is a very strong protector and obstacle mover. <laughs> we like that. So, you've got the Strength card is your first card in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life. Now, this beautiful maiden has the lovely and talented Archangel Ariel at her side, known as the Lion of God. So, this is saying this lion has been dispatched to you to assist you to get to your goal. Now, the thing is, all you have to do is focus on the goal. The lion deals with all the other extraneous stuff. So you don't have to uh, sully your hands, okay? They're, they will be dealt with if someone tries to interfere. This is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands can be talking about a new job, but it also means a new passion. So this can be a relationship. So some of you may be moving into a fiery, lovely, a new thing, or, or it's approaching you. And uh, if, in, if unless you're already coupled, then that means it, it's the fire is still alive. It can also be talking about a job because there's a lot of stuff going on here with that. Um, it can mean a, an a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius sign. 
and um, you've got the eight of eight of swords here. So whatever it is, uh, you're worrying yourself over it. So when the eight of swords comes in, it's when we're overthinking it. So let's just unclench and let go and let God, okay? Because God has some plans. The universe is working in your behalf. The sun card is here, which is a fabulous card. Very first card in the employment and finance area. So this means think there's something in development just for you. Um, it may not, no one else may even know about it yet because the universe is aligning things to be exactly the right time for you. See how there's nothing in the middle here? These, these planets have come into alignment and the goal is right there and you can just got a straight shot at it. So if you're looking for the right time to present yourself to any other company or, uh, you know, get yourself out there, this is it. Now, you may be on the fence about what to do, which, you know, which way to go. You just have to know that you allow yourself to follow your gut instinct because here's the thing about the two of wands. People think it's, you have to pick one or the other. It's not true. Um, both ways are the right way. Whatever way calls you is the way you should go because the road starts with one path. It splits off, but on the other side here, it comes back together. We all know life is a circular thing. Things come back around and you never have to worry that you've taken the wrong path. Because, honey, God knows where you live, okay? <laughs> Whether you go east, west, north, or south, the divine and the universe know exactly where you're at. So if there's a lesson or a blessing in your name waiting to get to you, it knows how to get there, okay? It's more accurate than Santa Claus. <laughs> this is the archangel Uriel. So you've got three archangels out here and the universe, and this beautiful blessing from the universe, and the Ten of Cups. So the Temperance card is another Archangel. This is Archangel Uriel, who is the Keeper of the Flame, Keeper of the Fire. Um, this is inspired thought, inspired action, serendipitous events, things that are just seem to fall into place, but you have to allow the alchemy to take place. This is taking the fire. Uriel is handling it because we can't. Uh, Uriel is handling this and turning it into this beautiful elixir pouring it into this other cup to cool it down, and then making it into this beautiful pixie dust to drop down in us and sprinkle on our little heads because our little human bodies can't handle, we can't handle the truth, okay? <laughs> so that's, this is saying be patient. It's working out in your favor. This is a perfect alignment for somebody who's about to have a new huge breakthrough in their employment area. So, Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the confirmation and information they need to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path, allowing them to move forward. And we really appreciate the beautiful messages and information and receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome. There you go. That's the universe and the lovers and the, the turmoil of the mind that, that Aquarians. Now, everybody does uh, the, the uh, chasing of the tail and the, and the overthinking. But air signs, we are spectacular at it, okay? <laughs> it's, like, it's like breathing for us. <laughs> yeah okay good there's a positive outcome from it we got the six of swords moving us out of that energy yes this is huge okay there we have so don't let yourself get too forlorn because you got some big stuff coming in really big good stuff so the hermit meditate and get yourself centered and focused get your energy get your get yourself connected to divine because there's definitely a path moving you forward, and it is a, it's your divine calling because this stuff is being negotiated by divine energy and divine guidance. So, Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful harmony, whether it's selling or buying or just making your house very harmonious. You've got the Emperor here who is, all you gotta do is listen. All you gotta do is follow your intuition. That's how he communicates. That's how the universe communicates. You'll get a nudge. It's not super loud, so don't ignore it. Nine of Wands, you've worked really hard to get here. 
Beautiful lover's card. So this is about a very, very beautiful, harmonious energy. This is the Archangel Raphael. So you have now four Archangels out here. Okay. <laughs> Big. And God himself. Okay. Or the universe itself. So beautiful lover's energy. So it's telling you, let just get yourself in harmony. Don't, don't worry. You're almost there. You've almost made it. Uh, Queen of Swords, of course, going to get a little in our heads over it. I told you what to do. Make a list. Take the top three things. I don't know if I told you or not. Take, Sit down and write a list. Let yourself just flow. Don't even think about what you're writing. Just let it come out. What are the things that are worrying me? How, you know, what, how can I, what can I, what do I need to do? What do I, what is on my mind? Let it, let it go. Sometimes we have to get up in the middle of the night and do it because it's keeping us awake. So allow yourself to do that kind of like an auto writing. Okay. Just let it pour out. And let me just give you this tip. Uh, our, our higher selves, our subconscious mind is really good at disguising the true problem. So It'll probably be in the later part of the list. The first stuff will be just BS that comes out like dirty water out of a faucet. And then you'll get to the clear point at, at close to the end. So that's how you do it. Get it out. Figure it out. Take the top three things that need to be dealt with or whatever's worrying you. And worry about the three things at a time. Only three. Because when you get overwhelmed, you can't see a way out. And it starts to be so confusing you don't even want to try. So the King of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles can mean a beautiful commitment. It also means restoration, financial restoration, as in all things. So as through life, there may be times where somebody kind of got the best of you and you don't feel like you really um, ever got what you deserved from it. And it turns around and here it comes back to you. So this is a huge financial blessing. It can also mean commitment from, from your partner. So we have the Strength card with the Archangel Ariel and the Queen of Cups. So she's having a little bit of a moment reflecting. So don't get too caught up. The same energy here, this Five of Cups, don't get too, too caught up in your emotions. Have the moment and move on. Ace of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. So this is saying you will be taken care of. This is a, the Garden of Eden, okay? So you will be able to do what you need and be provided for. So whether that's someone promising that to you or you doing it yourself with your own hands. The Eight of Swords is the overanalysis paralysis, and it looks like finally getting it out on paper will allow you to move forward. This is launching in the right direction. So taking that energy and those ideas and experience and allowing yourself to move forward to get to the destiny instead of a uh, destination rather than sitting there just floating and floundering around. The Sun card, which is a beautiful blessing, wonderful energy, uh, higher, higher energy of making a way even when it looks like there is no way with the four of rods. So this is the doorway, okay? This is the gateway. This is entering into the next chapter of your life cycle. Two of wands where you're looking to make a decision here. Just go with what you feel is right. Um, don't worry about it being the wrong decision. And the three of pentacles. Pay attention to the details. Look at what's right in front of you, okay? That's, and it also means expansion and your ability to, um, to earn more. It is a, is a, is a, a profitable card. Then we have Temperance, which is the Archangel Uriel, the Keeper of the Light, Keeper of the Flame, and uh, making a way for you, just like the Sun card. And this is your Victory card. This is the Six of Rods, head and shoulders above the rest, and being coming home victorious from the battle. So... The sun is also big in the background here. The sun is a big deal in this card because it's confirming. So both of these cards play well together, all four. And this was just telling you pay attention to what's in front of you and you'll be able to figure out what you need to do. Aquarius, this is an amazing reading. I'm so happy to give this to you for the second half of May. Don't forget we have weeklies. Uh, watch those. Check those out. They have meditation at the end. I also have dailies if you want to be part of my uh, good happy vibe tribe. We, uh, we do a daily reading with meditations every single day to do affirmations and positivity to get us through uh, setups up for the day for success. So uh, there will also be some new things coming out. I have uh, some plans. Uh, I'm keeping them down low right now, but you'll see. Keep an eye on your notifications. God bless you, my puppy who sneezed. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, many blessings to you all. Thank you all for watching. I couldn't do this without you. I love you each and every one. Namaste.